Okay, Dave here, Dave Stovell, just helping you get ready for the wonderful world of Microsoft Azure Cloud Services. So you'll need a couple things. You'll need your student email here at Niagara College. Yay, Niagara College! And you will need a Microsoft account of some sort. So if you don't have one already, an old Hotmail account or Outlook account, any of those will do, any Microsoft account. If you don't have one, I suggest you just go to Outlook.com and go through Create Account, right? I'm just going to take a moment and do this. I'll pause the video. Okay, so I finished that process. So I've created my new Outlook account, Demo Student NC. And uh, here is, I've logged into the college's email system as a Demo Student as well. So I've got two things necessary, a college email account and a Microsoft account. So I am ready and raring to go. So to get my uh, account set up for Azure, I'll just open one more new tab here. And I'm going to go to imagine.microsoft.com. And here we go. So here's the Imagine site. This is the one that replaces um, DreamSpark. Okay? DreamSpark is no longer DreamSpark. It is now Microsoft Imagine. So I have to sign in. And... Uh, Okay, I guess it's already sees that I'm signed in with an Outlook account. So it will let me sign in with that. Okay, so I'm signed in with my Outlook account. No problemo. All right, so if I scroll down here, get started with Microsoft Azure. That's what I want to do. I want to activate my Azure access that's free and available here. Okay, hello demo. Make sure your account is accurate up to date. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, school. I am a college. Okay, there we go. College level. Uh, expected graduation date. Well, it's March 2017. I don't think you can go. Maybe I can. I'll say that. School name Niagara College. Canada, State, Ontario, okay, Canada, yep, that looks good, so I accept, and, alright, so here we are, so, uh, hello demo uh, account status. We verify your student status. That's what we want to do. So remember, I'm logged in right now with my Microsoft account. So verify your student status. Okay, how do I verify student status? With my school email address. Okay, school email address. So for that, you put in your Niagara College student email which I have one here, temporary. Don't try to use this one, it'll be gone by the time you see the video. Re-enter it again, and submit. Okay. You'll receive an email shortly once you do follow the link provided to verify your student ac account. So if I come over here, go to mail. This is my student account email at the college and got it okay so here we go academic verification hello it says boy the font small can i make it bigger oh a little bit that's maybe too much okay you received this email because i'm trying to do the right thing okay to complete your verification click on the link below the link will automatically expire if not with it used within five days all right it's funny it doesn't let me see it as a link, but that's okay. It's probably the college system, so I'll just copy the link. Go to a new browser tab and paste the link in there. And there we go. All right. Now I notice it doesn't say verified yet. Hang on one sec. 
Okay, so sorry, I, I just clicked on the link that was there all along where it said, uh, please verify your student status, and I click, and you're verified and ready to go. All right. Okay, expires in 2018, so that's good. Gee, I should have said it was 2022 that I graduated, but oh well. Probably wouldn't let me do it that far ahead. Anyway, here we are. So get Azure, right? That's what we want to do is activate Azure. Register now. And let's see what happens. Azure sign up. I'm doing this in real time, so I sorry if uh, sign up. Looks up to imagine is not available. Boy, this demo was running into a few problems. Darn. Okay, hang on. Um ah. It's got the Niagara College account here. So let's sign in with my the Microsoft account. Okay, issues seem to be with uh, just going too quickly here. Either that or it was just logged in with my school account instead of my uh, personal account. Anyway. Now I'm logged in here. This is logged in with not my school, but with my Microsoft account, right? And going to activate now, that would bring me to a page where I could click the register now button and then I'm registered. Basically that's all there is to it. Then when I go to the portal, right? Here's where you definitely want to make sure you're logging in with your Microsoft account. So this is the Outlook account that I created a few minutes ago. I verified my student status. So that gives me access to Azure. So yes, I am finally in here. So I've got it open in more than one window, but that's okay. All right, so now we're up and running in Azure. Exciting. What can we do? Let's see that in the next video.